Welcome to my weblog on innovative design. These programs are a look into my methods of operation and my creative process. My strength in design is the balance of an artistic touch with the practicality of a veteran builder. In this program, I'm going to summarize my design build process for a detached three-car garage with a full basement below the parking area. This is a garage for a custom home I designed and built in 2006. I was asked many times why go to the effort to create living area below the garage. The short answer is that building that same garage on a steep slope with a standard slab and stem wall foundation would have needed over 200 cubic yards of compacted fill. As the alternative, I decided to take that same area and create a full 900 square foot walkout basement below the parking slab. The structural integrity of a slab supporting three full-size vehicles is a big deal. I did my research and decided on pouring a slab over a combination of engineered structural I-beams and steel pan decking. These interlocking steel pans are a permanent form that we pour the slab on. The ribbed profile of these steel pans interlock with the concrete and provide an additional level of positive reinforcement. This engineered slab design achieved a consistent slab thickness and the needed slope by nesting the steel decking into a sloped ledge that was formed into the perimeter of the exterior walls. This foundation is a combination of stepped footings and tall exterior walls. We got the forms up and the pour went well. The basement living area is planned for a bathroom and small kitchen. This required some underslab plumbing. We also installed PEX tubing for future hydronic heat in the downstairs living area. This upper engineered slab preparation was extensive. We dropped our steel I-beams into place with a boom truck. Our pre-cut steel pans were put down and an extensive mat of steel rebar was laid out. Before we poured, I consulted with my plumber and we decided to install PEX in the parking slab as well. Our adventures in concrete were well worth the effort by the time we were ready to frame. The lower level walls of the walkout area and the entire upper garage structure is standard wood frame construction. This project was a combination of structural and aesthetic issues that challenged my creativity and problem solving abilities. Creating this garage and living area below was a great experience from both a design and build perspective and ultimately took my design build skills to a whole new level. This structure turned out as a nice complement to the main house and a valuable asset to the new owners. Thanks for taking the interest in watching my innovative design weblogs. For more information about my design services and methods of operation and to watch other videos about past projects, visit peterqbrown.com.